as promised to do a um, fragrance flower coloring. Um, the fragrance flowers were on back order for quite some time. So they weren't really shipping out very fast, but it seems like they have caught up in their inventory and they are starting to ship as ordered now. I'll open this one. So I have, this is my favorite. It's aloe water and cucumber. And I actually haven't opened it yet, but I will open it up and show you what it is for those of you that haven't seen them yet. So it comes in a box, obviously. Um, it has the oil jar, it says Scentsy on it. And then it tells you the scent on top. And then, let's see if I can get the flower out of here. here we go. And then in a separate little box, you can see on the inside. Hi Dawn! It has the little flower. Let me try to get it out of here. So there's the flower. And then if you get one of these, really important, take out the box that the flower came in because inside there is a, you know it's in here somewhere. Try to get it out of here. There is a little ring in here that goes inside of the flower. Oh no, you couldn't find them? Um, they were still there even though they were on back order because they were still shipping as they were getting ready. Um, they were shipping as available. So they didn't put a back order status on them that they would typically put on something that was going to take a while. Um, so also in the box that lots of people are missing is this silver ring that goes on here for when you put your flower um, inside of here. Now inside of this, let me put that back on for a second so I can tilt this, there is a cap. Now this cap, this little cap in here, is intended to come out, but I actually had Kent drill through this little hole in here, or I think he used scissors, I'm not sure, so that I could stick the flower through there to keep it a little bit more secure and less spillage because it was going into Avalon's room, and that's spilling right now, but that's okay. Um, so, there's that. So then once you have it all ready, it sits in there and it has the little silver base as opposed to not having anything on it like this. So very important, if you order one of these, these little silver caps are in there. So this is really easy to do. So you see that there's all these individually placed uh, petals on this flower. And these petals are made of, uh, I think it's called solo wood. So they are pretty thick. And I got my hair on there too. Get my hair in there. Um, so all that you're gonna do when you go to color them is you're gonna color the very edges of them. So I'm gonna try to straighten this out without breaking it at all, because they are kind of delicate. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the red and I'm going to color the very edge. Now, if you have already put this thing in oil, you do not want to try to color the edges because the oil will destroy your Sharpies. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to color some of the edges on this. And then later, um, after this is in the oil for a little bit, I'll show you guys again in a few hours. And then I will show you again tomorrow because you'll see that the oil works magic on these things. So, let's do this one. And it really doesn't take that long, um, especially if you do one color because that's pretty mindless. You don't have to think about where you want each color. But I'm kind of trying to space them out a little bit. I suppose I could have done one row of red, one row of green, one row of red, but I never think of those things until after I already get started. Cool. And these are a great option for people who work in an office where they don't allow um, heating plates or warmers. So like our element warmers or 
our um, light bulb warmers if they don't allow either of them and you don't want the Scentsy Gall. These are really pretty. And obviously the more, um, oil, uh, the more ink that you let soak into the petal, because it really does soak up the ink from the Sharpie, um, the more vibrant color your, your flower will end up. And I have actually seen people color a little bit down the flower, down the petal too, but I'm still just going to do the edges for this one to see how it turns out. Um, or if you want to do like a girlfriend's night with a wine, people do wine and paint, you can do a wine and color party. Okay, so I've done some red. You could see a lot of white right there. It's going to be a lot of green in that one spot. I'm going to have to mix this up a little bit on the rest of the petal. Okay, so there is the red. And I know that this looks like it's not going to be that pretty. But I promise you, when you see this photo um, a little bit later today, you're going to be like, is that the same flower? <laughs> you have kids that are in school and you send gifts to their teachers. This is going to be an awesome option for you because teachers can put this right on their desks and not have to worry about the heat or the light, kids sticking their hands in wax almost done and I might after this um, touch it up and make the colors a little bit darker on some of them but this will give you a good idea as to as to what it's gonna look like anyways the start of it anyways all right I think that's all of them I think oh wait there's one under here like I said you gotta be really careful with these because they are made of wood so they are super delicate don't want to break them. All right, so here we go. So you can see I really just colored the edges. It doesn't have to be all neat. Um, you can see I made that one right there in the center, red and green, because I ended up with two reds next to each other. And then Avalins I did probably two months ago now and it is still just as pretty um, because the colors do spread all the way down the leaves and really color the whole flower. That is how you color a fragrance flower. Um, this is a new product with my catalog season this year. It's called a fragrance flower. Um, so they are Oh well if I did. Um, so they sit inside of this little oil container. They look like this. And what the oil does is it disperses all of the colors into the leaves. So they end up looking really pretty. So I just wanted to go live and show people how I actually do the uh, coloring. And all I use is a colored Sharpie and just color the very edges of it. Alright, I will post some pictures later. Bye.